We all live in the digital world. We all need it to be open and safe. We all want to trust. And to be trusted. We all despise control. And desire freedom. We, we are all united. united. My name is Jasmine Cruz. It's a great pleasure for me to be here. Uh, this presentation is the partial results from my PhD dissertation. Uh, I am open to criticisms and suggestions. So without further, further ado, I'll begin because time is short and we're already a bit late. I'm sorry. Uh, there are several important studies uh, being developed in present days uh, in Brazil regarding online gender-based violence. Uh, for example, reporting the occurrences and the private censorship by platforms such as the Monitora study uh, led by Revista Jmina and Internet Lab. Uh, my research wants to contribute to this field by looking at the victims' perspectives and their responses in order to find out uh, solutions and how they can be better assisted. Also, by taking uh, their statements and their gaze uh, into account, I strive to show their agencies, uh, something that is often ignored uh, when we talk about victims. I myself have already been a victim of online attacks on several occasions, so I'm, a, I'm so somewhat familiar with the multitude of feelings that come up, come up when these violences occur. So my intent is not to do extractivist research at all, but to be re as respectful and caring as possible with their stories. So defining harassment, a quick look at the literature. The first main work about harassment is uh, from Catherine McKinnon, a lawyer and feminist advocate from the US who had acted in strate strategic litigation to include in the title seven from the American Civil Act from 1964, uh, uh, harassment as a sex discrimination in the wor workspace. This interpretation impacted legislation in other countries, such as Brazil, uh, for example, with the bill 40, uh, 404 uh, in 1994 uh, from the parliament, parliament from the Congresswoman Maria Luisa Fontenelle. Uh, despite the this advances uh, in the legislative field, uh, to harassment to or harassment in workspace be uh, considered as a crime offense. Uh, other other types of harassment are still on lacking uh, legal treatment, legal addressing, uh, such as the online harassment. So SaferNet here in Brazil had reported. Uh, that online violence against women uh, increased uh, to uh, 21 per 22 percent in 2020 in comparison with the same period in 2019. Uh, and Statiza uh, in 2017 reported that most uh, most common types of online harassment against women worldwide were generally abusive language or comment or comments, sexist or misogynist comments. Uh, threats or physical or sexual violence and other types of violence. So a study also developed by Plan International here in Brazil with girls, uh, uh, with five, uh, 500 girls and women aged to 15 to, to 24, uh, find out that uh, it is, uh, it was reported by them that they suffer too often with online harassment uh, 34, 35% of them had reported this. So uh, regarding my research, uh, I'm aiming to uh, find the victims' responses. Uh, actually, how do women journalists and politicians deal with online attacks? So I interviewed uh, 10 of uh, 10 journalists and politicians. Uh, my choice for these two groups is because 
they are more exposed to online conversations, to uh, uh, the online uh, public life. And uh, my hypothesis, which, which is being co uh, confirmed uh, by uh, Ajmina Internet Lab in two of the, the research, uh, empirical research with data from Twitter and other social media, is that these two groups often suffers more uh, with attacks than uh, men from the same, very same groups. So according to Abregi, uh, uh, journalist, uh, invest investigative journalist uh, association here in Brazil, 40 of, 70, of 72 reports of online attacks were against women journalists in 2020. And according to Esmina and Internet Lab in a report about uh, online violence in, on social media uh, during, during the, the municipal elections last year, political violence is mostly and recurrently directed towards female profiles in allusions to, in allusions to their bodies uh, intellect, intellectually and other moral aspects. Men, with the exception of queer, elderly or transgen transgender people, are more often insulted by users who consider them to be bad managers are ideologically mistaken. Um, so as a result of my research with these uh, women, uh, the, the main, uh, the main uh, position, the main attitude that they have after uh, receiving a, an offense or after uh, being uh, targets of online attacks, uh, they didn't react. And when, uh, when they were asked, uh, why they didn't react. They said, most of them said that, uh, or they, they didn't find it necessary, or they didn't know how, or they lack of legal counseling, or because of legal costs, lack of patience. And uh, the, the, their companies also uh, opt for not suing the aggressors. Uh, so uh, I, I bring to this uh, presentation some of the some of the uh, statements of my interviewees uh, regarding journalists and fact-checking. Uh, according to a UNESCO report on the subject, women, especially journalists, have been the main targets of these attacks, uh, which directly affect their participation in these spaces. Uh, converging with data from international research in the subject, uh, the uh, the re recent research of from Asmina and Internet Lab just uh, find out that women uh, actually so uh, journalist women suffer more with attacks than journalist men. Uh, a former fact checker that was my interview uh, from uh, the the agency Aus Factus. Uh, she reported that traumatic events in relation to the fact-checking activity caused her to abandon this particular, uh, particular activity and join another company. Uh, in her account, Barbara, who was uh, this interviewee, told two experiences of coordinated attacks against her. The first led by the Movimento Brasil Livre, uh, a right-wing movement here in Brazil, involved the creation of a dossier of fact-checkers fact exposing their personal data and the images of hundreds of journalists. The second, led by the YouTube channel Terça Livre, which is now under investigation by the Superior Electoral Court, involved the sharing of, their email, of her email on a Telegram channel by one of the, coordination, one of the coordinators of this, this organization, followed by, or, by offenses and threats being sent to her email by their followers. Uh, this journalist opted uh, not to sue the YouTubers because she felt especially that she would be even more vulnerable and exposed as counter suits are very common and these organizations often, have often do, done that and have more money to sue uh, journalists, especially from uh, small organizations. So harassment also as a, a siege tactic is organized on networks and distributed on the victims, multiple social media platforms in order to silence and intimidate a speech seen as inimical. Juliana Dalpiva, another interviewee of mine, um, uh, who, who also is a Brazilian journalist, 
reported being the target of uh, attacks after having made a story about a film producer, producer produced by the far right, far right alternative company Brasil Paralelo. According to her, she was target uh, of thousands of attacks in just a couple of days after an article was published criticizing the organization, she was unable to use her account. Uh, due to the lack of appropriate mechanisms for reporting, filtering, and moderating offensive uh, content on platforms, especially those who are uh, coordinated attacks, the option seen by the, the journalists was to immediately uh, uh, silence the, her notifications. In a short amount of time, in Juliana's case, uh, there was an escalation from the offenses to, to death threats, which led the journalist to contact the legal department of her newspaper agency for action, which was not taken by the company, by the agency. Uh, when the death threat came, she informed the chief uh, who com communicated the legal department, but nothing was done. Abragi, however, who is uh, responsible also for uh, defend the journalist's uh, rights in Brazil, wrote a letter in defense of the journalists, uh, the lack of support uh, of journalists in, uh, for their, from their editorials was reported by at least three other interviewees. Many do not know what they can do and need, to, and need more support in this regard. So regarding politi politicians, uh, the need to look more closely at gender political uh, violence has caused the Organization of America's state to write a declaration on violence and political uh, harassment against women in 2015. The document calls for a definition of political violence and harassment against women, taking into account regional and international discussions on the subject, and that both violence and political harassment against women may include any gender-based action, conduct, or mission, and may occur individually or in groups. Also, uh, this violence has as their objective to uh, or result to belittle, to annul, to prevent, hinder, or restrict the political rights or rights of women to have a life free of violence, and the rights, uh, also the rights to participate in political and public affairs on equal terms to men. Although we can catalog some of the uh, strategies used to, to spread offensive behavior, it is important to keep in mind that the various tactics used to carry out attacks are constantly updated as Carla Cosa, a city councilwoman from the Labour Party, the Workers' Party here in Brazil, reported to me. The right wing is already smarter in, this, in the sense of knowing what tactics to use uh, and what should, would be more reported, more often more reported than other types of behavior. Uh, they don't bring the debate to the profiles of the candidates. Uh, so to not generate uh, engagement for them, but they screen cap the posts and publish them in their profiles. And they're there, they comment and criticize them. Uh, this type of strategy can reduce the ability to discuss and defend oneself. In addition to increasing concern about excessive exposure in social networks. The possibility of gender disinformation and attacks on their social networks caused the young councilwoman also to uh, rethink their post, her posts on social networks. As she reported uh, during the, the campaign, she silenced, her, she silenced herself, which was something that she didn't like it to do. Uh, she always shared her personal life in social networks if she had an ice cream, et cetera, such trivial things that she stopped it to do with uh, afraid of being a victim of ma manipulation of images, uh, whether from deep fake or montage, um, which gain a, a new feature of gender violence, became a new feature of gender violence on online spaces. So I think this is all that I have to share with you. I'm open to comments and Thank you so much for uh, 
watching this presentation. Do you have any comments, Clara? Hi. Hello, everyone. Um, I have a question. Um, you said that a lot of women weren't encouraged to, to respond uh, for their aggressions. And I wondered if, if, if you think there is any tactics that the platform should use to encourage them to answer to, to the aggressions yeah. or to reply to I think. I think that platforms, uh, actually, Revista Esmina uh, is working on the development of uh, an AI that is able to, de to detect uh, more uh, specifically misogynistic uh, offenses. And I think that the platforms should invest more in this, uh, not in sense of censoring, uh, censoring and cause more false uh, positives, in the detection of these uh, offenses, but uh, to listen these organizations and try to improve their API in the sense, I think that are there are several uh, works being done in the in the uh, language field and in the machine learning field, also in this sense, and I think uh, it could be a, a, a path for platforms to dialogue more with these movements and to try to. Uh, improve their APIs in this sense should be a better path. Also, I think that uh, most of the, the interviewees reported to me, those who are uh, uh, targeted by coordinated attacks and that suffer multiple attacks in a short period of time, uh, they, they think that it should be included in the platform, the possibility to close, especially on Twitter, to close their, their posts after they, they are published and etc. And also to report several accounts in one time, uh, in one specific time, selecting them like there are, there, there, it exists in other platforms, this, this type of feature. So it's improvements also in the interface of these platforms. Thank you. So this is my uh, final remarks. If anybody have uh, ad, uh, other comments, please feel free to contact me in my mail. That's all. Thank you.